You knew this morning from universities to community colleges, there are several times that your morning commute could take you by a campus. That's right. If so, you'll need to hear this. Right now, some students at Mississippi State are speaking out. At 7.02 this morning and just an hour before more students head to campus for that 8 a.m. class, you're getting a live look on Mississippi State's campus. This is on the junction and through one of its campuses, I mean, excuse me, through one of its cameras. Students are calling on school leaders this morning to make the campus safer for people while they walk to and from classes. WTVA's Alexis Jones is live at Mississippi State right now, and she spoke to one student who was hit by a car right where she is standing. Alexis, what did he have to say? Daniela, former MSU student Andy Riley said he did everything right that day. He said he looked both ways before he crossed the street and he stayed on the crosswalk, but a distracted driver still hit him. Riley said last September, a woman on her phone slammed into him while he was walking to class. Riley said he was two days to call for help. The woman then offered to drive him to OCH Regional Medical Center. There, doctors treated his scrapes and his bruises. They also diagnosed him with a concussion. Riley said he called MSU police and they wrote him wrote down his statement before he left the hospital. He said after doctors sent him home, he started to feel a sharp pain in his back. Doctors later found he had two broken vertebrae. Riley said he had to withdraw from school because of his injuries. He said he knows many other students who had the same thing happen to them. Riley hopes school leaders fix this ongoing problem very soon. Honestly disrespectful to me is that they put signs up for pedestrians to watch where they're walking instead of cars to watch where they're driving and for people to not text and drive because that was the issue. It wasn't me, but I would definitely like to see more signs put up for drivers to see where pedestrians are crossing and, you know, maybe even if it has to get this far, traffic lights for pedestrians and cars. Riley said he can't say legally if he's suing the woman or not. He said he wants to reach out to the school's president to talk more about how to keep the campus safe. Live in Starkville, Alexis Jones, WTV 9 News.